Hello everyone, it's Brett here, Lionheart84. Now if you saw the video earlier today, that's assuming that I'll put these out on the right day because who knows when uh, when I'm going to actually show the videos. You'll have seen uh, possibly the Amalfi Lemon in a video, but I might not show that one on the same day. But the one I definitely want to show it with is this small fruit here that fell off uh, my Chandler Pomelo when I was, uh, I got it out of the summer house, which you'll have seen in the other video. And um, I'm just gonna spray it with uh, soapy water to get the uh, aphids off. It didn't have many on, just a few. And uh, the, the fruit when I was handling it actually fell off. Now obviously this is only about, excuse me. <sighs> Dear me, I shouldn't be yawning on video. <laughs> this is only about the size of a very small orange, not the size of a pomelo, which could be a sort of like as big as a football. But it's quite soft. Um, I can't imagine it's got any flesh in it. I mean, one assumes that the Italians have supplied me with a Chandler pomelo and it's not, uh, it's not a grapefruit, but I, I think the Italian growers are pretty good at their labeling. So I thought we'd cut it in half and just see what it looked like inside and probably do the Amalfi lemon as well. So I'm not going to try and peel the pomelo. I think the best thing to do is, I, I don't expect it to have any flesh in it or it might have a little bit of flesh and a lot of seeds. It might be completely dried out inside because it's been hanging on the plant for months and months and months. Um, but I thought I'd leave it because it wasn't what I considered a good size and obviously it's more greenish than yellow it looks quite yellow actually under the uh, artificial lights indoors but it's quite greenish actually as I'm sitting here looking at it so I thought let's just see if we can cut through it and see if it's got any flesh inside <laughs> well you know it's a pomelo this is this is wonderful this is very funny <laughs> so that's when you get a small fruit like that I thought it might have possibly had a thinner skin um, I thought it might have a thinner skin and a bit more flesh in the middle but it has got amazingly that typical pomelo thickness to the pith which they always have and obviously because it's a small fruit it's only got a small amount of flesh on the inside now it looks completely dry I would imagine it would have been it might have been edible some time ago so first thing to see is I just wonder if the pith I can't say I've ever eaten pomelo pith, so I'm just curious to see if the pith is really, really bitter. Truly horrible. <laughs> so, this has really got a typical, albeit in miniature, this has very much got a pomelo look to the segments. I don't think you'll be able to see on camera. But pomelo tend to come in these, uh, these have these seg segmented uh, things. So, uh, very dry, bitter, would have a lot of seeds in it, but the seeds are also, has got a lot of seeds, but the seeds are far, far too small to be viable but it's interesting to see so while we're at it I've got a couple of interesting things to look at now if if I remember rightly I think I don't know if this is the Swiss orange or the double blood orange Myers lemon cross there are a few other fruits on the plant and they're quite a bit bigger than this but they've got this interesting ribbed look to them but this one had fallen off so I thought we'll also cut this in half, if we can. See what this looks like inside. I'm not gonna bother tasting it. I mean, they're not really considered to be edible. Typical sort of orange appearance to it. Hmm. Not much scent. Oh, it's really bitter. I mean, I'm not into bitter citrus. And finally, 
this Amalfi lemon. Now, they, these get vastly much bigger than this, and I think it's another one that has a very thick rind and pith area to it with a relatively small lemon bit, so I would imagine that this will be just like the pomelo. When I cut this in half, it's going to have a really thick pith like the pomelo and probably no lemon flesh in it at all. So we'll just have a look, see? See what this is like, see if it's the same. Okay, not quite, that's the Amalfi lemon, that's the pomelo. So this has actually got more flesh in it and surprisingly quite, if I hadn't cut through them, quite viable size looking seeds, I would say. I would think it's quite likely that these uh, seeds could be germinated if someone wanted to try and germinate them. I don't think I'll bother. I don't need to grow any more mouthy lemons. They might not come true to type anyway, but quite a typical lemon scent to it. <coughs> I suppose I'm going to be bound to have to try it because they're not poisonous or anything, but... Uh, Let's just try a little bit of this lemon here. Mm. Well, it's very traditional lemony. It's not that bad. I'm not one of these people who wants to be eating lemons like this for me. They're just for <coughs> squeezing a bit of juice on... Uh, squeezing a bit of juice onto a pancake or something like that but um, you know not bad I just wonder if these seeds there's one here that's split I just wondered if it had a viable embryo inside it hmm. I don't think so let's try a bit more mm. typical sharp lemon flavour, but I thought it would be interesting to have a look anyway. Um, you could probably squeeze that bit of lemon onto, uh, said, cooking or, or a pancake or smoked salmon or something like that. It's perfectly uh, usable. Mm, a nice scent. I think these are mouthy lemons, so they get to a decent size. Might be quite usable, to be honest, for juice. So that was, uh, that's uh, obviously a very underdeveloped channel of pomelo. Slightly more developed and mouthy lemon. So I just thought it might interest a few people who like to look at these sort of uh, weird and wonderful citrus. Um, uh, so, and it was a bit of a follow up to the other videos from earlier on in the day where the fruits actually came off. So thanks for watching the video, much appreciate it. Thumbs up. You can share the video if you think anybody might be curious. Please uh, do remember to uh, subscribe to my channel. It doesn't cost you anything to do. And um, if you're interested in any of the videos that I put out and would like to know when when I do put the videos out, which at the moment is almost every day, then uh, remember to click on the uh, bell. So I'll see you on the next video, whatever that may be. It's uh, Brett out for now.